Hey guys, this video is meant to help you pick your correct external hard drive. Now, the reason you want an external hard drive is to back up all your files. Now, depending whether you're a student and you want to transport your external hard drive everywhere, you just have it at home and you just want to back up your computer once a week, once a month, and uh, not really travel with your information anywhere, but just keep it nice and safe and um, beside your computer, then that will make the difference which is the external hard drive you will get. Now, an external hard drive works, and you can make it work just like a USB stick, okay? You just have to format it the correct way. I have a separate video to show you how to format your uh, external hard drives, whether you have Mac or PC, this goes for both, okay? A lot of, uh, the most, I would say, 98% uh, of the external hard drives out there, although they're, they won't even say Mac compatible, they are compatible, okay? So I bought... Um, a lot of uh, external hard drives from before and uh, they never said Mac compatible before and I, I still made them work um, That's pretty easy in Mac. You can just format them to work with time machine Which I would recommend you guys to do if you have Mac make sure to activate your time machine and uh, Use time machine for your passport or your external hard drive. Okay, whichever you have. Okay, so to get started um, Basically you have your big hard drives, which are these ones right here that you see on the pictures are uh, these bulky ones They need external power. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that in a second and your second option would be your passport Now these ones are smaller and they're portable. They don't need external power So you just plug them to your USB and that's it. However, you do get less storage so let's say you make a lot of videos or you have photographs wouldn't really recommend this unless you need to move them around okay so these for portable and um, they're pretty safe but usually these guys big guys last longer they're usually faster as well so these are more for home use okay um, and keeping your computer safe in terms of pricing it's the same thing um, if you look at your passports they're gonna be a little bit on the expensive side However, you can get good ones, okay? Never buy just the cheapest one. The cheapest one will be, for example, here. You see the 500 gig, okay? Um, now, that one's $69, a 500 gig. Now, for 10 bucks more, you can probably get a terabyte, which is down here. Terabyte, just for 10 bucks more, literally. And you get double the space. Terabyte means 100 gigs. 100 gigs is a lot, trust me. However, if you have a lot of pictures and it builds up over the years, you will have more than a terabyte, especially with movies, especially with movies um, and videos that will take up a lot of space. You won't be able to fit that many movies on a terabyte. Um, for example, I have a lot of movies filled up on a terabyte, uh, 300 movies would fill up a terabyte, for example. Um, well, it depends on the length of the movies, quality and all that, but usually 300 and that's it for a terabyte so just giving you an example now if you have word documents and uh, some pictures you know regular pictures then a terabyte you know you probably won't fill it up for three years maybe yeah probably will last you three years now passports usually don't last you that long so like I said more portable not as reliable okay um, now the other one the bigger one also works like a USB stick basically but needs external power now these bigger ones you can probably get for the same price of a small one okay of the passport size you can get the big ones the bulky ones um, a lot more space in it like a 3 terabyte which means 3000 gigs you can get that for the same price as of a 1 terabyte one so 3 times more and you can probably get it for the same price um, right now in, I'm looking at Best Buy.ca it's not the best place sometimes they do have great promotions I buy my stuff from there a lot but um there's other stores such as Tiger Direct that has really cheap prices however these guys are pretty good sometimes okay especially online deals with Best Buy work really well anyways um so I'm gonna show you a quick video which I made right now um just to show you the sizes so these are the big one right here the silver one is a big external hard drive now this needs external power that means you need to hook it up to electricity and to your computer in order for it to work then there's the passport which is small okay this is portable this is what I have for school and to move around my documents so it's like a US big USB stick okay because this is a one terabyte 
Now the brand, the brand itself, I've always used Western Digital just because it was the cheapest one out there. Um, so far I've had only Western Digital since they've been the cheapest ones. Um, I had the opportunity to buy other ones, but since they were at the same price with other ones, I just chose to buy Western Digital just because I've had them more than 3-4 years, so and they last long. Um, now you can see the size, the difference, um, also they're way heavier. The the other ones, the big ones, okay, then the passport size ones. Now the passports, once again, USB stick, they don't need this external power that you see here. Now, um, the same thing, the black one there beside it, those are two big ones compared to the Western Digital really small passport size. Now remember, if you're taking these big ones and you need a lot of space into your school, which you can, I mean, you can still, you can still um, put them in a lot of places and you can transport them anyways, the bigger ones, um, versus this small uh, passport size one. But you do need that external power and that can get annoying in college. I know a lot of people in the media business, they need big, big ones since videos take huge amounts of uh, space. Um, so they need these these ones but they always need external power and that can get kind of annoying so just because you need to find a plug near your computer so that's why it can get annoying okay um, other than that uh, these big ones are really well really good for keeping your information safe and they do last a little bit longer than the passport ones okay so for my home okay to back up all my files all my videos that's why I use my big ones, okay? I always use two, just in case one crashes, I have the other ones I back up. Now, since I have Mac, I, I do use uh, Time Machine for them, okay? Before, I didn't use to do that, but that got annoying, and Time Machine, I saw that it worked really, really well. I usually don't like the programs that come pre-installed in the external hard drives. They're meant for you to make your life easier, but at the same time, um, I find that they don't do a really good job if you want to get your files out later on you do really have to figure it out and uh, I just don't like that so I would control it myself I would definitely format it once you get your external hard drive um, just right click on it and you can format it okay um, you can format as XFAT, MS-DOS FAT um, whichever you like more um, there are different ways to format your hard drives uh, remember, if you just want to back up your computer and keep it nice and safe, you need a lot of space, um, or you just want to keep it nice and safe and you don't want to move it around, get a big one. Get one of the big ones. If you need to move your information around, get an external hard drive that's this size, okay, a passport. Now this one, there's even smaller ones than this, this one. Uh, this other black one that I'm looking at right now, now this one's also a big one, okay? That one needs external uh, power, just like the silver one right now that you can see. Now I do just transport all my information just on the little one. I don't keep it on, as my main hard drive because that's pretty much my USB stick, okay? Um, now giving you this information, make sure if you just want to back up your computer and you want to keep it at home, get the big one. If you want to transport your information, get the little one. If you need both, you need to really keep your information safe and uh, at the same time uh, transport your information from here to there. I would get both. Just get one of each. Get the big one and get a small one. Get the passport size and get the big one. The big one does need external power. Remember that. So you need to plug it in to an electric outlet and then to your computer uh, uh, there's the old ones um, you can get firewire remember about that it's really fast I like it but right now it's obsolete um, it's better just to get USB and that's fine um, besides that it's really up to you if you want to transport it a lot remember always get two I would never recommend just getting one one it can fail it's a hard drive after all just like your computer hard drive can fail that can fail as well and um, before my time machine has failed luckily I've had my other backup so it's been no problem so I always keep two backups I back up once a week minimum and I have my little one just to transport my information from here today if I need large files it's also safer and way faster than a USB stick and uh, the price is around there I know you can get really cheap USB sticks nowadays but um, if you want to transfer a lot of information if you want it fast okay you want to transfer information back and forth really fast just just get an external hard drive like it's passport size uh, there's smaller ones than this one that you see on the video there's um, cheaper ones as well 
and uh, you just have to surf the net to see which one's cheaper okay so I, I do recommend Tiger Direct Best Buy I've bought several hard drives from Best Buy since they do have online specials which are really good um, but that's it so what I recommend I do recommend Western Digital I've had it for several years however if there was a cheaper brand out there I would just go for it and try it and see how it works uh, once again I only got Western Digital because it was the cheaper don't mind the logos the Apple logos those I just put on myself just to identify what's for Mac because um once I format, I format my hard drives to only work with Mac, so they don't work on PCs. Uh, that's just to avoid any viruses getting inside of them, okay? So don't mind the Apple logos everywhere, that's just to identify my external hard drives that work only for Mac. Um, remember you can always make your external hard drives also work for Mac and PC at the same time. My little one works actually for Mac and PC, so I format it that way and uh, you know you can just make it work for your Mac or just for PC it depends what you want anyways that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments you can write here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you